There's there's a lot going on here. Mucho going on here. Let's call it modern. How spicy is the next deck? Well, decide for yourself, four dogs. Four color. Creative reanimator. <laughs> yeah, you like this one, Spike? I knew Spike was gonna like this one. <laughs> oh shit. People salt will give us high blood pressure. Do people are people that salty about losing to Agent? The Crack Zandek. This is the Crack Zandek uh reimagined, I guess as it were. We've decided to go up to 80 cards and add Ephemerate to uh Blink Agent, which is honestly kinda cool. I actually don't hate it. I think Ephemerate's like the coolest part about this deck. Because you can set up turns where you go, like, even transmogrify just for one, put an agent into play, and then... Because, like, okay, here's the biggest issue with putting agent into play. The the biggest issue about agent is the first trigger... If you have if you put one agent into play, it's never going to be good enough, right? One agent is never going to be good enough. So, by playing... You have essentially seven copies of any way to put one agent into play, and if you draw Ephemerate, then the second trigger is going to be really, like, backbreaking kind of thing. Can you Ephemerate your flip Fables? Yeah, you can. They will, they'll just go back to Fable. Oh, Spike. <laughs> Classic Spike. Alright, round number one. Uh, we can cycle the hard evidence. This hand's a little risky, but we'll try it. <clears throat> we'll run with it. I think I'm supposed to play this on turn one, because I don't know what land I want to get on... Well, I could probably just get Rogger and Triumph, right? Maybe experience, probably more experience could have cut the time to less than two hours. Right, the other thing is, the other issue that I was finding is... It was really hard for me to, like... I'm not the best with editing software. Like, I just use whatever is on Windows, which is not, you know... And it, I, I really didn't spend too much time on it. Flight Spell Bomb. Flight Spell Bomb, chat. You ever seen a Flight Spell Bomb before? Uh, Rogarin Triome. Yeah, this is also a Dwarven Mind deck. I'm just gonna bounce Saga, right? I'm gonna go... I can just get basic? Yeah, I got all my colors, I can just get basic. Blue, white, red, bounce saga. Then we can transmogrify next turn, transmogrify again the following turn. It's kind of funny that this is. F <laughs> it's actually hilarious that this is Flight Spell Bomb and not Aether Spell Bomb, because if it was Aether Spell Bomb, I couldn't go for transmogrify. But because it's Flight Spell Bomb, I can. That's I find that hilarious. Alright, I want to listen to a song. Were they playing Flight Spell Bomb? I don't know. They just want to get in there. They get to kill Teferi, I guess, but... Alright, Teferi's down. I'm just gonna take their Saga, right? Might as well get a Dwarven Mine. Target the token. I will take your Urza Saga. And your turn. And then we get to go Creativity for two... How many permanents are we going to take? The answer is all of them. I think I'm just going to take both lands. Yeah, I'm just going to take all their lands. I don't... I, yeah. How much do I care about these 4-4s? Four do I really care about these 4-4s? Four Not really. Let's just let's just take their... Uh, kind of wish I drew a land there. Hold on. Hmm. Agent draw 9. Maybe I should just take their 4-4s. Four what if I took a 4-4 and a land? Just kind of split the difference? Let's just split the difference. I think splitting is fine. Because then I can just trade 4-4s. Four I think splitting is probably fine. So, take this. Take this. Go. Holy oh, shit. I'm going to deck myself. Uh, I didn't realize this was mandatory. Uh, okay. Okay. That's kind of dicey, actually. Oh. Hmm. I mean, I can eventually just take all of their permanents, right? <laughs> eventually just take all their permanents. Can discard three lands. How many mountains do I have? Four. 
Discard this. Discard this. Discard this. All right, go. Good thing we have 80 cards. <laughs> it might not even be enough at this point. <laughs> you know, remember the last time we did this with GPG, it went to like three cards in deck? Oh, yeah, no, I do remember that vaguely now, yeah. The thing is, they have so many fucking blockers, I'm never attacking. Like, we do actually have to kill them. Um, am I making a token? One, two, three... I think I'm going to not make a token. So I have access to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana potentially. I kind of want to pick up Yorion so I can steal three more things next turn. Kill my own agent. I can't really kill my own agent. I can ephemerate. I guess I could Teft bounce my own agent, but I, I want to put I want to put the Yorion in my hand first. Like I want to Yorion blink all three of these before I Teft bounce one of my own things. So, I'm definitely picking up Yorion, 100%. This is happening. What, what else am I doing with my turn? Probably just, like, Ephemerate, Blocker, Valakut. Yeah. So, let's go pick up this. Hard Evidence. Valakut. Pass. Yeah, and then we can go... Yeah. Now we can go Ephemerate. Won't draw that because Saga's gone. Oh, that's actually really good. Uh, sure, don't care. If I steal the plating, it's still equipped, right? So I have to steal the Ornithopter. Um, I should probably... Steal... No, 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 I can steal a Thought Monitor before attacks, right? Yeah, because I need to have a Flying Blocker. So let's go... Blink this. Steal the Thought Monitor. And then let them attack. Should you want of Emrakul just to shuffle occasionally? There's an Emrakul on the sideboard, but maybe it should just be in the main deck. To be honest. At this point, I am. I will happily trade for all this shit. Trade, trade, jump. Take zero damage, because now I'm just gonna blink with the ephemerate and then play the Orion. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take everything. So blink this, steal. Uh, I guess I'll steal the plating. That is the scariest one. And then we'll go cast Orion. Oh, they don't want to play anymore. Where'd they go? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> All right, should we bring in the Emrakul? <laughs> Dude, this deck is sweet. All right, so Wear Tear, Hidetsugu Consumes All, Prismatic Ending. You have the black for instant speed plating. Oh, yeah, that's true. I do a black man in my deck. And then Fatal Push. This deck is ridiculous. Yeah, it, it's it's definitely something. I think spreading sea. Oh no, they have they have saga. I don't know what's bad in a matchup like this. Maybe the persist plan is not good enough. This actually might be a matchup where the persist plan is bad, because one one agent trigger is like rarely ever going to do that much. So it's like persist is only good if you draw the ephemerate as well. I kind of want to just like cut persist, cut mending. I think that's actually a decent plan. I think that's like a pretty good plan when you're when you're playing a fast matchup. And we can also like trim a shards. Yeah. Maybe I want to keep in like two mendings just to like smooth my curve. Smooth the smooth the draws out. I think we have too much removal. Can you really ever have too much removal? I don't think so. I mean it maybe bolt's bad. Like what do you think bolt ending is bad? No, because ending kills plating. And ending is definitely good. I don't know, I just don't think the persist stuff is that good on the draw. Right, if you can keep them off of, like, casting a Thought Monitor, you're in pretty good shape. <laughs> Everybody's saying Embrickel should be main deck. Uh, this hand is weird, but we have Sugu, so... Sugu Curious. <laughs> we just, you know, it's, there's just an Ephemerate in our hand. No big deal. I actually kind of want to hold that if I'm going to play Sugu and Curve. Yeah, I'm going to hold that. Okay, that's totally fine. I'm just gonna kill that. So let's get Jeskai. We can play Blood Crypt Untapped. Just gonna kill that while I can. Use my mana. Yeah, honestly, I don't know. I mean, the Embrickle is definitely necessary for probably like the four color matchup where the games are gonna go insanely long, but 
I don't know how necessary it's, you know, in matchups like this, but... Hmm... Sugu does not look very good here, huh? It actually does nothing. I think I'm just gonna play two hard evidence, I guess? Kind of a weird game. Sugu not the best against 4-4s. Four also not the best against this. Maybe Sugu's just bad. It's I mean, it's good against Saga, but it's not good against these draws. I'm just gonna take 8. I don't know if I can win, but... I'll just take 8. Should I ephemerate my grab? Uh, Alright, game 3. Hmm... Well, out of curiosity, what were you doing besides trimming the other, the trimming the out, the air in between matches when editing? Uh, that's all I was doing, Otter. That's really all I was doing. But there's like some of those leagues where the games just take forever because there's a lot of like a lot of downtime. It really does take forever. Even just the basic trimming, it takes so long. Still think I like the, the deck without Persist. Maybe Persist is better in the play, though. I mean, I don't know. Alright, we're gonna do no Persist. I'm gonna try it with no Persist. I, I still think this is right. I mean, we didn't see any Graveyard Hate, but... I mean, I have Fable in the Transmogrify, but I have no interaction. I, I, I have the Ephemerate, too. I kind of have to keep this hand, I think. But I could just get run over. Your bids are also like five hours long if I'm playing a Martyr League. Yeah, true. Okay, they don't have anything on turn one, which is definitely good for my hand. Deck text and stuff. Yeah, I try to trim those out when I can. I try to. I can't always do that, but I try to. Okay, slow-ish hand. It may have a, like a spell pierce, I guess. Just gonna get a mountain. So, if they give me the opportunity, I'm definitely going to slam this Transmogrify. I kind of have to. You know what would be perfect? If they just, like, attacked with Frogmite and didn't represent a blocker for this, and I could just go attack, Transmogrify, and Ephemerate in the same turn? That would be huge. I doubt that's going to happen, but... Yeah. So you just trade for Monitor. Alright, well... Stop! Stop! Stop playing 4-4s! Four Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. I said, stop it. This is bullshit. Well, I could actually do it all, right? I could go attack with this, transmogrify the dwarf, and then use the treasure to ephemerate the agent and take two 4-4s. Four Which is probably better, right? That has to be better. Okay, so let's go transmogrify this. I'm going to do all this main phase, too. I think I have to take their big idiots. Oh, it's really bad if they have plating, though. But plating's not lethal, right? If I take one of these... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... Yeah, plating's not lethal, so I can just take a big hit and then steal the flyer. Could have pre-combated that and kept the 2-2? Two -two? What do you mean? How would I have kept the 2-2? Two -two? Oh, because I could have... No. How would I have kept the 2-2? Two -two? I'm confused. There's no way I could have kept the 2-2, two -two, right? All my cards were sorceries. I can't I can't transmogrify in combat. Ephemerate after blocks. What does ephemerating the 2-2 two -two token do? That doesn't do anything. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. You're saying transmogrify the 1-1, one -one, get the agent, Attack, get the treasure, and then steal what they... Okay, I gotcha. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. It makes more sense now. I gotcha. I don't know how he beat an edge champion, but... Oh, wait, no! He could just block it with companion. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take their flyer, I think. Ooh. That is a pretty good draw. So, let's get two more agents, shall we? 
I guess I kill the companion, right? Yeah. Alright, question is, will we deck? Will I deck this game? I could probably attack. And draw nine? Alright, discard one, two, three, four. Your turn. <laughs> Yeah, I, I see what you're saying now. I, I got the transmog line. Good. I even have Reflection plus Agent. Good god. This deck goes hard in the pain, huh? Yeah, nice etch champion. I stole all of your colorless creatures. Block. <laughs> what needs to be banned in this deck? Yeah, ban Agent of Treachery. You gotta you got ban it right now. It's too good. It's broken. Uh, okay, so let's go... Let's go... I don't know. Blue, white, red, fairy. Let's go bounce. I don't know, some idiot. Copy. Steal, some idiot. They're still playing? Mm. Uh, attack, attack, attack. Tenya? Tenya's good. I'm gonna lead back the frog mate. I wanna make sure I have two blockers for the champions. <laughs> the old draw nine again? Gotta love the old draw nine. Oh, 12 this time. Right? <laughs> oh my god. Didn't I have lethal? Did I have lethal? I don't know. I'm just having fun over here, man. I'm just discarding random guards. I might have had lethal. I don't know. This is too many cards for me to discard. There you go. <laughs> Attack all plus bolt. Uh, block, block. Oh, right, yeah. Just They just go block, block, and take six more. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I did have lethal. Whatever, it's fine. All right, we got him. On the, we, got, we are on the board chat. This deck's broken. So uh, what, from this de what from this deck needs to be banned, huh? Should I go and tweet about it? I think I haven't heard Jocelyn in a hot minute. That sounds good. The one thing I will say, I think this Valak is kind of loose. Because it makes your Dwarven Mind so much worse. Yogmoth, huh? Hmm. Do I spread them or do I bolt? I think I bolt, right? Yeah, I think I bolt. Maybe some people grumble about Ephemerate. Yeah. Oh no, are we getting Blood Nooned? How the hell do I beat a Blood Noon? I don't care about that card. How do I beat a Blood Moon? Well, I can Spreading Seize their Stomping Ground and hope they don't have a red source. Holy crap! Is that better than Command? If they Blood Moon me, I could just cast Prismar Command and make a treasure, right? What if I just did that instead? Seth, thank you thank you very, very much for the very generous raid. Really, really appreciate that. Welcome, everybody, from Seth's stream. We're playing some modern donation decks. We got a sweet one if you want to check out the deck list, exclamation point deck. If you're new to the stream, smash that follow button. We'd greatly appreciate it. Tarmogoyf. Okay. So I can't kill the Goyf because there's no instant in the graveyard. But I can go shut I can go shatter the hearse. Yeah, we can go shatter the hearse. Make a treasure. Wait, do I even care about the hearse? What if I just go shat what if I just go loot treasure? And that get that finds me land five to just slam this. I think that's better, right? I just don't even care about the hearse. I don't think. So I'll go draw two, make a treasure. Yeah, we did find a land. Uh, I kind of want to keep both lands. Maybe I'm supposed to keep that Valakit there, but... Unfortunately, I can't creativity for X equals 2. Should I wait? I could wait. I could just play Spreading Seas here. Let's just wait. I kind of want a creativity for 2. They're not really pressuring us that much. They have a Goyf, but... Now I kind of wish I kept that second Spreading Seas, but... Because <clears throat> then I could have just double seized here, which probably would have been better. Alright, they're Hursing, that's fine. <laughs> Hurst plus Tarmogoyf, huh? Ooh, they can't even move me now. Spreading Ds. Yeah, so we can go Fetch for Dwarven Mine, Untap Dwarven Mine, Creativity for two, probably steal both of their Forests. And then we can follow up with a third Creativity. I want to steal their lands first, for sure. 
All right, maybe this deck is just quietly broken. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm just saying. Maybe this deck is just quietly broken. I'm, I'm just saying. Yeah, we can Yorian after too. Oops. All right, creativity for two. We can actually creativity for two again next turn because we'll have the treasure left over too, right? All right, I'm going to steal both of their forests. Oh, and stealing the forest actually gives us mana to pick up the Orion. That's insane. Maybe I should cast Bone Shards here. Floating a green. All right, uh, second main. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, probably... Nah, I'll just pass. I can just take six. Well, I'm going to steal the Goyfs next turn. It's possible I, I could have played Bone Shards there, but if I discard the Mire, I don't get an extra token, right? I guess I could just Creativity away the Agents and just get more Agents, which is also probably fine. Yeah, we also have Yorion. I kind of wanted to wait to Yorion until I had all four Agents in play, but, you know. This is seven damage. Yeah, I can take seven. We don't need Creativity. All right, take five, go to nine. I mean, I guess Yorion's also probably game, right? All right, fine. We'll just Yorion. We'll just Yorion. It, you know, all roads lead to Rome at this point. I don't think it matters. Pretty irrelevant what we do. All right. Uh, that's going to enchant this. I'm going to steal both of your goifs. Ah, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn! Oh, they don't want to play anymore. Where'd they go? What happened? God, this deck is so sweet. Alright, what are we sideboarding against Gruul? I guess Ponza? Yeah, Ponza with Goyf. They didn't let us draw six. True. Well, I would have drawn 12, because I was going to creativity for two again. Probably want Prismatic Ending. Good against Tarmogoyf. Uh, same with Fatal Push. Bitter Blossom Veto consumes all. I think that's probably it. Mm, can like trim a Bone Shards, trim a Mending, trim a Persist. I usually, I've been trimming on the Graveyard Package. I think this is good. Yeah, ban Agent of Treachery. Can we just, can we just get it over with and ban Agent of Treachery? It's clearly too broken. What's the, what's the line? I'm not playing anything else in Modern until this deck is banned. Was that the line? All right, well, we have two agents, so this hand must be broken, right? Do you think Zeator the Incinerator is playable in Modern? Is that the five drop? Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, something like that. We should make that a command. Okay, this hand's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. If we top deck the land, we could persist. What, with the first hand? Eh, I'm not going to keep that. If we draw agent... No. <laughs> I still think I just have to bone shards this. It's really weird, but I'm going to. Like, the thing about waiting is I have to draw an agent, and if I wait and don't draw an agent, it's really awkward. It's a six drop demon and John. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of it. Ooh, little one lander. Also, nice blood crypt. Imagine playing blood crypt and faithful mending. <laughs> That's a little sketchy. <laughs> You're a land, so lucky. I wonder if they even have Blood Moon. They might not. EE -E for zero. Okay. That one plays. That one's actually not bad. Probably should just be Faithless Salvaging. Maybe. It's easier to cast, but maybe you just shouldn't play multiple Blood Crypts, too. So we gotta find a Prismari Command for that. Man is perfect. Uh, it's definitely not quite perfect. I would say it's close to perfect, but definitely not perfect. Okay. Oh, give me a Spreading Seas. Spreading Seas Prage. So I'm going to get, I guess, what, Steam Vents? We'll go white, blue, cast this. Probably just looting away this Persist. Okay, no Spreading Seas. I'm going to keep the Hard Evidence. I'm just going to keep the combo, basically. And now I can go Hard Evidence plus pick up Yorion. And we can need to find Prismatic Ending or... 
Actually, I probably just don't even want to play the hard evidence, right? Because they're just gonna they're just gonna pop the COT. Yeah, actually, I should have played the Xander's Lounge, but I'm just not gonna play the hard evidence. And potentially, I mean, obviously, now that I that I didn't play the right land, uh, we could have been in a spot where I go. Like, they tap out for whatever reason, I could just go hard evidence creativity in the same turn, but I played the wrong land. I should I should have played this. There's just no point in playing the, the hard evidence into the explosives, because I could just do all this in the same turn. Okay, well, I'm going to get ultimate punish, too. Uh, oh, no, I'm not, because I can just get the 1-1. One, one. I can just get Dwarven Mine. Yeah, and then steal the Clothis. If I draw a fetch land, holy shit. Okay, not quite. So, I think... There's no point in playing the hard evidence here, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna go Dwarven Mine, Creativity, Steal the Clothis. And then I have the Orion in hand, too, which is kind of sick. Right? I can have Dismember, I guess, but... Alright, give me the Clothis, play Xander's Lounge... Oh, the Veil of Summer. Okay, I see. But we get to pick up the... We get to Yorion next turn, so... I'm in at Bolt. Can steal the Sprawled Land. Yeah, they had Veil up. Okay. I guess that's why they were content with tapping out of the explosives. That that does make sense. Maybe I should have read that. I still think it was the right play, because, like, I'm not going to get a better opportunity to go for it when they have the explosives, right? Eh. Well, now I can't cast Yorion. You think they have another Veil? Can I really afford to play around it? Hmm. Because I can just transmog into another agent and try to steal the Clothis. I probably can't afford to play around it, right? Because, like, the Clothis, the Clothis is just going to kill me. I think I have to go for it. I feel like they have another Veil, but... Oh, they don't. That's really good for me. Because they probably can't remove their own Clothis. And <laughs> this thing's just gonna dome shot them. Yeah, that's fine. A little late for a little late for that one. They have Goyf. Okay, it's annoying. I don't think I cut the bolts though. Yeah, we still have bolts on our deck. Pretty good one. Pretty good one. We'll take that. What's our best draw here? I don't even know. Outside of Bolt, we don't really have much else that's really good to draw. <laughs> right? I think Clothis still and be a monkey in the ponds a few fair times. Yeah, Clothis being on your side of the field. Yeah, exactly. Valakid? When there's a Blood Moon in play? I don't know about that one. Yeah, it's really hard for the red-green deck to out a Clothis. <laughs> like, they're just, you know... Obviously, they can just find threats, but... It's this. Oh, fuck, we can't win. <laughs> okay. Well, that thing races a Clothis pretty effectively. Alright, your turn. I think we're going to be going to Game 3 here pretty shortly. I guess I can Creativity their Gargaroth and hope they hit, like, a ignoble Hierarch. <clears throat> <sighs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Game three. Hmm. Gargaroth makes me kind of want this more. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't be cutting the graveyard stuff because, like, turn two agent is still pretty good, but they have lightning bolt. That's where that's where turn two agent's kind of awkward. Is when they have lightning bolt. I'm just gonna keep it like this. I think this is fine. They can never in a million years beat Emmy. What? You just want to cut the agents and go into Emmy? Maybe. I didn't think about that. I hadn't thought about that. That might have actually been a good idea. Yeah. I did not think about that. That probably would have been better, yeah. Okay, this hand's good. Just gonna put back the bone shards. But we're still kind of screwed if they have Blood Moon. Wear Tear? Yeah, for Blood Moon. I think this is gonna get Jeskai. Yeah, I'm just gonna get Jeskai trying with this. This hand needs a Teferi. 
Needs a Teferi and a land. But I'll, I'm going to save the Dwarven Mine with this hand. Okay, they're on six. Yeah, I wonder if H is just a better plan. Oh. Craigasm. Who will fix me now? It's such a beating. It's such a massive fucking beating. It's so gross. <laughs> See ya! I guess I fetched the wrong Triome, huh? Should've got Grixis. Hmm. They have a red source, though, which is kind of dicey. Unless we draw Prismari Command. Eh, not exactly Prismari Command. I guess we just have to hope they don't have Blood Moon, right? We can't beat it. Man, I feel like we're going to get Blood Moon. I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be very sad when they Blood Moon me. Get ready to spam Sag. Don't spam it yet, though. Only when they cast the Blood Moon. Okay, okay, okay. We got a turn. We got a turn. They're not going to tap their red mana, though. Hmm. Probably don't want to go for it. We'll see what we draw off the Faithful Mending, but good chance I'm not going to go for it. We need to find, like, a Teferi. Teferi would be the perfect card, because we can go Tef Uptick, and then if they Blood Moon us, we can just go Bounce Blood Moon and go for it. Yeah, Teferi is definitely our best draw here. Valakut, not so much. Uh, I'm just going to discard these black cards, though. Uh, I think I'm just not going to go for it. I don't know, maybe I should. They have three cards in hand. Because I do have a ton of creativities. I could just go Dwarven Mind Transmogrify, and then if I draw a fetch land, I can go for it again. Pass and Mending. Well, the issue with that is then I can't set up, like, Teferi into creativity, like, in the same turn. I, I think I'm just going to go for it. I have a lot of fetch lands that I can draw. And I have so many creativity effects that I, I think this is okay. Like, it's not great if they have both, but... Sure, that's fine. We expected that. Like, we're just gonna- we're gonna have to tr ex make that exchange at some point. Like, they obviously have Bolt, we just kinda have to go for it. And like, because we have so many- we have so much backup in our hand. Pick up Yorion. That was another line as well, I thought about that. Like, pick up Yorion, play Valakut. It's not a bad line. Okay, that sucks. They only have one card, though. Okay. Um... Okay, now I'm going to pick up Yorion. No, this isn't quite Zanzla. Sam was playing 60 cards, we're playing 80. Now my plan is just going to be cast Yorion, blink this, and just try to hard cast Agent at this point. That gets them closer to Blood Moon, that's scary. Wow, I'm surprised they didn't just play the Fury. Good pressure. No attacks? Okay. All right, there's the land, too. Uh, we obviously can't go for it into the explosive, so let's just go play Yorion. Funnily enough, we might trigger this Valakut at some point. Well, not at the Blood Moon, but... Gotta be holding up Veil, maybe. Which I guess is kind of annoying if... Yeah, because they can Veil the Spreading Seas. It's a little annoying. Sure. Uh, I guess I'll Veil the Red Source... Okay. Alright, well, if they don't have Blood Moon, we can hard cast Agent. They're just keep Oh right, they were keeping a keeping up explosives. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Crewing. Alright, I'll take five. Pick six. Well, if they have Veil, it's gonna be annoying, but Valakit online? Yeah, Valakit is online, which is pretty important. Not if they have Blood Moon. Okay, that's fine. That's not a Blood Moon. Thankfully that's not a Blood Moon. So I think I'm probably going to go kill the Hierarch, steal the hearse. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so let's get a Dwarven Mine. Actually, I'm going to fetch one Dwarven Mine for now. And then this will just get a Basic Mountain. So we'll go Basic Mountain, kill the Hierarch. Always yes. And then we'll try to steal the, uh, steal the hearse. I could try to get really aggressive and steal the explosives. 
and then maybe go for creativity next turn. I feel like that's kind of bad, though. Is it? If I steal the explosives, they pop it in response, and then I probably have to chump block the hearse? Hmm. Why not steal hearse? Well, I have creativity in my hand, right? So if I force the explosives, I can potentially try to creativity next turn. I feel like that's a little too greedy, though. I think I have to steal a hearse. It sucks if they have Veil, but... It sucks no matter what if they have Veil. Alright, no Veil. That's good. So, I'm just gonna play defense here. We have good blockers. We can also creativity, killing in... Oh, yeah, we can just creativity these two. Right. Alright, time me with a song request. We'll get that in the queue for you. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. One sec. Let's do that. Let's do... This. Go right click, add to queue. Alright, cool. Now we're good. Yeah, we can creativity on the hearse too. It's worse if they have besiege you. Okay, that's fine. They have one card. It's their last card. I think we're gonna win this game, funnily enough. Especially if they tap out of this explosives. So we just creativity this thing. We can actually just get three agents, right? We can go crew this and then target this, this, and this. Then we could steal this, this, probably a forest. Actually, I might just steal two forests in the Pyromancer. <laughs> yeah, we also draw nine. I mean, we're not really drawing into anything, because we literally can't cast cards under a Blood Moon, but... Oh yeah, I don't have to crew it, right, because it, it destroys artifacts. Yeah, good point. They're attacking... Uh, What's their last card? Bolt or something? I mean, I'm going to try to play around Bolt... By doing this... Okay. Maybe they just, like, assume that I have creativity and they just want to get their stuff off the battlefield? Uh, sure. So they can kill the agent. But then I can just make two more. And steal the Ren and maybe a basic? I can also just kill the Ren. Oh, you know what's funny? I can actually steal the stomping ground to get blue mana to play the Prismari command. That's hilarious. That's actually cracked. Okay, so what's the best way to approach this? You're 18. Layering? What do you mean layering? Don't think it's island? Is it not? Oh, okay, never mind. It's a mountain. Okay, never mind. Never mind, never mind. Yeah, I gotcha. Attack Ren, take forest. Just leave them on only, only red mana. It's kind of bad if they draw fury. But then I guess I have the hearse. No, because I'm going to lose the hearse. God, this is super sketch. This is really sketch. What if I just... It's a really weird spot. So I can go... Crew... I kind of want to keep this hearse around, though. I guess I still have an agent left in my deck, right? So if I go... Attack... Or crew... Attack Ren... Well, there's no point in crewing, right? Attack Ren... Blow up these two... And then take the two forests. Next turn, I have another creativity. So I can just creativity an agent into an agent, steal a thing, and then draw draw the six cards. I think that's probably fine, right? Yeah, let's do it that way. So let's kill the Ren. <clears throat> Before creativity, exile the Pyro. Double creativity. One, two, three, four. I guess... Oh, I see what you're saying. I could go creativity... Exile the Yorion, hit an agent. It's only one Pyro. So I'm going to exile Pyro and a random guard. I kind of want to save the other creativity. I think I like this. I think I like doing it this way. I'm going to do it this way, chat. I'm just going to take their forest. So this is targeting this one. Alright, your turn. <clears throat> I draw six this turn? No, I only draw three, right? Oh, wait, you're saying creativity... I think I know what you're saying. You're saying creativity and then creativity for two. No, I don't have enough mana, right? I don't think so. Okay, sure, that's fine. So I only have one agent left, right? Which means... I mean, I could just steal the hearse. And it's probably fine. Attack first... It's going to do it for one, two, three, four. So we steal the hearse, draw six. Thing is, like, we're not really drawing into much. I guess we have bolts, right? We can draw bolts. But we have no agents left. 
So we can't, if, even if we draw into creativities, we can't do that. That's, that's off the table, but... Bolt's, like, pretty much the only thing we can even really cast at this point. Okay, they drew a land. But they can't crew, they can't exile yet. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Um... Nah, this list has no basics. Yeah, I'll leave the basic mountain. I think I can afford to attack for six. Okay, draw six. Two, three, four, five, six. Go. I can cycle that. Yeah, we got forests. Forests don't really help us that much, but. Yeah, we can draw Fable. Fable would be a sick draw. All right, exile, cycle. Uh, yeah, Fable does make treasures. I probably have to hold back here. So I think I'm just going to attack them for four and hold back an agent. Yeah, I think I like that. Attack with the hearse, hold back agent. I could put them to four, but then I go to four, it's kind of dicey. I don't want to lose to, like, two burn spells off the top. Moon with Valica triggers, there's a Blood Moon in play. If there wasn't a Blood Moon in play, this game would have been over by now. But there's a Blood Moon in play. Right, I drew one bolt. It's probably good enough, right? Two Fables, too. I mean, they could draw back-to-back -back bolts. That's how they're winning, right? If they draw back-to-back -back bolts. Valica needs mountains, true. Blood Moon does make mountains. That is a good point. Uh, a block. I declare a block. Should we an enemy this game? Yeah, <laughs> game would have been over by now if we had Emrakul. True. Stomp. Uh, stomp resolves. Okay. Um, untap. I don't have lethal, right? Oh no, I do. Yeah, I could just go Fable, Bolt the Bone Crusher. Yeah, I have Lethal. Okay, we're good. Yeah, Bolt the Bone Crusher, attack for six. Let's go. Let's go. What a crazy game. What a crazy game. We're 2-0. It's pretty good. 2-0, chat. <laughs> Sick tweet about this deck. It's going to be glorious. Uh, two agents, huh? Uh, no. No, I'm good. Eh, okay. Put back the second Teferi? Honestly, I kind of want to just put back Ephemerate. I think I'd rather just keep both Teferis. And before we execute into four color, well, we're uh, playing at 60 cards, so probably not four color. I feel like we're making these games way harder than they need to be for the sake of agent. It's for the memes, Valkanius. It's for the memes. You have to embrace the memes sometimes. Well, if we draw the agent, it's not too bad. Last hand, I turn three animate. Did it? Hmm. Well, if this resolves, it's probably not going to resolve. That's the bonus about keeping the second to fairy, though, is we, we beat grief. Did I just see a bitter blossom? You did. Two bitter blossoms, in fact, actually. I feel like this is probably a bad matchup. Not sure, though. Alright, this is gonna get... Probably another white source? I don't know if it matters. <laughs> Those are for the grindy matchups. Oh, uh, Spike. Please no force, 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 please no force. Don't have force. Please don't have force. I feel like they have it, but they're just trolling me by cycling. Oh, let's go! Is that plus or minus? I think I just plus for now. Never get a chance to play the combat celebrate list you mentioned a week ago. I haven't yet, Taco Bolas. So I have not. I've been doing some other stuff, but we'll try. I, mean, I think I'm going to try and play it this weekend in between rounds. I could just minus next turn, right? <laughs> this is for the four color matchup. It's for the grindy matchups. It's fine. I've, I don't think I've ever played against Living Air, but they didn't have the Force, so I'm, I'm kind of surprised. I didn't know it was possible. Hmm. Would have loved to find a land there. 
Unfortunately, no dice. I think I'm gonna main phase mending because if I draw exactly agent land, then I can go persist agent. So let's main phase mending. Also, I could just draw a triome. All right, bone shards is pretty bad. And then I think I'm going to get rid of... I want to keep all my lands because I can creativity for two and steal two lands. Honestly, kind of want to just discard persist. Yeah. Play Mesa Pass. Agents in the Graveyard versus Living In is kind of a nut. Yeah, that's true too. So they're gonna cycle, they're gonna cycle. I'm trying to think of worst case scenario. So if I go for creativity x equals two, and they actually, like if they go land pass, and I go creativity for two, they can Odawara my Teferi. And then if they have third land, they get to resolve living in, which is kind of a disaster. But there's not really much I can do about that. Okay, well, they're just dead. <laughs> or they're just dead. All right, well, I think we're going to game two here pretty quickly. When I pitch Transmogrify there, since I already have the creativity. I just want to keep casting more of them. Also, sick draw. Like, I can just chain them at this point, you know what I mean? Didge. I'm going to main phase it, because I want their lands... I know I could at instant speed it with the fairy, but make so they can they can cycle less. Uh, your turn. Do make wins. All right. So playing against living and let's bring in surgical extraction. Dovin's veto. Ephemerate just seems so absurdly bad in creativity. So here's the thing, Torborg. I understand that Ephemerate looks bad. The the only the, there's two reasons the Ephemerate's in the deck for. There's two cards, specifically Transmogrify and Persist. Because you have to realize that the first agent trigger is usually not going to be good enough. So when you combine either Transmogrify or Persist with Ephemerate, that's where it's actually good, right? Beneficial. As opposed to like persisting an agent and have no, no backup with it, that's not going to be good enough most of the time. Same with Transmogrify. So Ephemerate's like to kind of pair with both of those cards, if that makes sense. That art looks good. What art? We just got Spreading Season this matchup, right? I guess Bone Shard is also not great. Oh, Ephemerate? Yeah, the Ephemerate art's sick. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously Archon is likely just better, but this is we're mostly just doing this for the memes, okay? We're mostly just doing this for the memes. Bring in Emmy. See, we can't bring in the Emrakul because we have to meme people. Also, I don't think Emrakul's that good against them. They have Odawara. <laughs> it's definitely a Bitter Blossom matchup. Uh, something tells me that it's not. What about Hidetsugu? I'm thinking about Hidetsugu. I think I'm going to try minus two Bone Shards for Hidetsugu. It's slow. But nah, let's do one Hidetsugu. It's just like, it's way too slow. Especially on the draw, right? Maybe it's better on the play. It just seems like you're never, I don't know, like turn four on the draw. <laughs> of course it's in our opening hand. One of, by the way, 80 cards. This hand does have mending persist, but has no interaction. We also don't have the Archon in our hand. I'm gonna ship this. Mm, this hand's also pretty bad. I'm just gonna go to five. See, this is why I don't like Bone Shards. Because, like, this hand is the nuts, quote-unquote, but we can't cast Bone Shards. We don't have a target. So, I think I'm going to keep this and just put back these two? No, it's probably better to keep the Persist. Alright, probably going to Game 3 here. Archon better than Agent? I mean, probably not, but this is for the beams. You have to embrace the meme. Hard evidence would have given a target. I guess. That's kind of sketchy, though. Like, turn one hard evidence, turn two bone shards, my own thing. Just to turn three persist. I mean, I guess it works, but... The meme has been embraced. Well, I mean, we're 2-0 oh up a game, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, we're 2-0 oh up a game. You can, you know, take that as you will, but... To the other side of death... I kind of sort of been an agent, but I love me a good bad deck. Yeah, you get it, Torborg. You get it.
I think Archon would have been better or as good as Agent in every spot so far this league. You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong at all. <laughs> <clears throat> I think uh, I think you're I think you're onto something here, Spike. I mean, I almost decked myself with agents, so <laughs> legitimately almost. Well, I, I think I got down to like thirty cards, which when you're playing eighty cards, it's, it's you know you can call that pretty close to decking. I'm just gonna play this tapped, I guess. Like, there's no way I'm jamming consumes all right. Okay, I wonder. Is it weird that I think my win percentage is actually higher if I just jam the Consumes all? Because, like, if they have two Cascade spells, holding a Vito's just not going to do anything. If for whatever reason they don't have a Cascade spell and I play Consumes all, I probably win, right? I, I actually kind of think I have to go for it. It sounds really weird, but I think I have to go for it. It's, you know, very not likely to work out, but I think it's actually correct to play it. Like that, Yeah, they probably have a Cascade spell because they missed on land, but, like... If I hold this and they have two Cascade spells, it doesn't do anything, so... I don't know. Oh? Never mind. They're even gonna grief me first. Well, I guess we would've lost anyways, right? They had the grief for the veto, so we still would've lost. <laughs> Didn't matter, we would've lost either way. <laughs> Alright, you win. Mm. What a griefer. Grief is the card they should have banned all along. Yeah, that's why I hate this card. It's just, it's so bad. But I guess Bone Charge is also bad. Mm. What if I just spread them? I mean, spreading them spreading could kind of fuck with their mana a little bit. It's not the best plan in the world, but... Bone Charge just seems so bad. Like, atrociously bad. Should have pre-banned Grief. They also should have pre-banned Agent of Treachery. All right, we're going backwards hat for game three. Also, the hat's a little bit tight, so it's, you know, you can kind of see a little mark there. It's a, it's a little tight, but these things usually stretch out. It's a it's a seven and seven eights, but I have a giant fucking melon, so I usually wear an eight. It's just like a little bit too small, but it was too nice to pass up. And it was also on sale, so, you know. Ah, persist, persist, command, ephemerate. Uh, no. Where's our Teferi? I just want Teferi. <laughs> Alright, well, Sand's probably not going to work out. Probably going to keep it, though. The problem with mulling to five and finding Teferi is when you just get griefed, you lose. Ah, oh, come on. You couldn't play any other land in your deck. It had to be the basic island. Literally any other land. Because I have to cast this fucking Spreading Seas. Grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
I guess I can get their curator. Still have Street Wraith Architects though. So get the curators. Their hand is Grief, Riverwinder, some shitters. Okay, cool. So I have to beat two three power creatures. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have jammed there. Probably should have waited. <clears throat> Supposed to like play Evidence Pass. Bait them to casting the living end, then I can surgical the curator, untap, jam. Yeah, it, and then I could have maybe held up ephemerae too. Yeah. I think I threw this game. I don't know if I would have won 100%, but I would have been in a better spot for sure. By the way, I'm still so something what so shoot could be the Archimedes Touch Elemental's list. Maybe Yorion really is the answer. You probably have to play Yorion. I think so. Because, like, you're just too far behind the other four color decks without playing Orion. But then at that point, it's like, you know, why are we just not playing four color? I know I know you don't want to play four color, but you have to really ask yourself, like, what are we doing that four color isn't doing? And I just, I don't really know what the answer to that question is. All right, we died. You win. Yeah, I don't know. Would have liked to see how that game played out if I not messed up. If I just not jammed. Because they still have to go for the living end there, right? Well, actually, no. Right? If I don't jam... <laughs> that's funny, Juke, yeah. It's not back to reality. I mean, agents still should be banned, but... A, sm a small setback. Alright, play first. Opponent's still on 60 cards, by the way. Uh, No black mana, but I have Spreading Seas on 2. I'm going to be really mad if they play a fetch land. I'm saying it's so bad against fetch pass. <laughs> Because I just, like, have to cast this on turn two to hit my land drops. This deck loses to itself more than it loses to whatever the opponent is doing. Probably true, too. I mean, you know. Memes aside, if we're being completely honest with each other, we should just be playing Archon. But we're doing this for the memes. What are we persisting? Archon of Cruelty. Yeah, god damn it. Playing Rhinos. Oh, best draw in the deck. Actual best draw in the deck. Yeah. They time walked us, we can't play Seas. Now they're gonna time walk us with Fire Ice, we can't cast the Seas. Th this game's over. We, we can't win. <laughs> uh, it's such a beating. Yeah, now we get Fire Iced. Oh, we didn't get Fire Iced, okay. Still probably can't win, but I guess we drew a land, that's the upside. <clears throat> One dynamic ship to you someday is Mirror of Fate plus Oracle Creativity. Mirror of Fate, is that the one where you switch? Wait, what does he say? What exactly is Mirror of Fate? It's like you switch your library with something, right? If you think about playing Is a Charm instead of Prismari Command. Well, Prismari Command makes a token for your creativity. Tap sack, seven face up, exile cards. Okay, so basically, yeah, yeah. So it just exiles your library. Yeah. If you have no exile cards. I don't really think we can beat Rhinos. We can go Tef, bounce one. It's probably not enough, though. Yeah, you have to set up the... It's a 5 bin artifact, though. Or how, how are you casting it ahead of schedule? Because I assume you have some way to cheat it out, right? Because otherwise it seems kind of sketchy. Second Teferi is not awful. You choose up to 7 so you can get the creativity x equals 2. Oh, 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 I see you. Creativity into the Mirror Fate and... Okay, I got it. That makes more sense. I see. That's kind of cool. I didn't realize I didn't realize creativity was in the mix. So it's just you creativity for two and you instantly win. Whatever, I'm just going to bolt this now. I'm going to cast the bolt anyways. I played against somebody in Pioneer the other day where they creativity for two and they hit the Locust God... And some 5-mana 2-5. I don't even remember the name of the card. But it was... The 5-mana the 2-5 was... Whenever you... I think the exact text was... Whenever you... Uh, draw a card... Or whenever a non-human enters the battlefield... You draw a card, discard. So basically you just go infinite with Lotus. With the Lotus Locust God. Sage of the Falls, that's what it was, yeah. I was pretty impressed. It looked kind of cool. It was just like instant win on the spot. Because all the Locust God tokens have haste. It was kind of cool. Maybe it's actually good. Oh, uh, well, they pitched, so they have another Rhinos. We're dead. Be kind of cool. 
just like another, you know, it, it it's a way for you to win on the spot when you play creativity and not have to like creativity for value or stuff like that. So it's, it's interesting, I think. Might not be that good, but definitely interesting. Used to be popular, kind of fell off. Yeah, like, there's a lot of people playing, like, the Jeskai Fires deck. It doesn't have creativity, but it has Transmogrify, similar similar thing. And it's just trying to put, you know, Agent into play, Blinket, stuff like that. And that's probably the best version of, like, creativity slash Transmogrify, but... Alright, I got a third Teferi for you. How about this one? I tried that Gruul deck. I wasn't as big of a fan of it. Like, it, it's okay, but... Xenagos Emrakul. Yeah, well, the only thing about Xenagos Emrakul is when you draw the Emrakul, it's just, like, not a card. But when you draw, like, the Locust God, it's not that bad. I mean, I guess the 5-mana the, the 2-5 five five is definitely a shitter, but... Okay, let's bring in Surgical, Veto, and Consumes All. I don't like Spot Removal. Bolt's terrible. Bone Shard's also terrible. It's a 79. I guess I could have a bone shard. It's just under the discard outlet. It's probably fine. Yeah, I tried that Gruel Titan list, and I don't know. Like, it was okay, but... Like, there are definitely some decks that struggle to beat Titan. Like, the blue-red decks, if you can play Titan on turn three, it's nuts. The issue is, it's really, really hard to resolve Transmogrify against blue-red, because they just have infinite ways to kill your shit. So, it's like, the, the one matchup where you're favored, where, where your threat's actually good, is the one matchup that just can d kill your shit at ease. They Like, it's so easy for them to kill every creature you play. So, it's kind of dicey. Oh, they kept seven and had gemstone caverns. Well, that's fun. Lit. <clears throat> Lit. Lit. Spirit does two answers, one bar, one out of aura. Yeah, I guess I guess it's good against spirits too. That's a good point. Well, they have a lot of counter spells, right? So they're answering the transmogrify on the stack, and they have a, they have a ton of ways to do that. They usually play like what eight counter spells, but <clears throat> right. Yeah, Mausoleum Wander too. Oh my God, they have gemstone caverns and ice. Uh, well, I guess we're going to round five at two and two. I gotta love when, Rhino, when Rhinos draws like this. Attack. Attack. For what it's worth, does auto win the burn matchup? Oh, Titan? Yeah. That's another deck where it's hard to resolve Transmogrify, though, right? <clears throat> like, the reason I think that creativity is so much better in Pioneer than Transmogrify, is not only do you get to kill treasures and, and non-creatures with it, but you can also target multiple things, so you can get around a single removal spell. So I feel like if you're trying to play some sort of... If you're trying to play that those types of decks, I feel like creativity is just so much better, you know? The question is, what's the best creativity deck? <coughs> Right, yeah, I think that, like, the Jeskai Fires deck, that deck can, like, utilize Transmogrify better because it has the 04. I think that's the biggest difference, is um, Wall of, whatever it's called, Birth of Miletus, the fact that you can make an 04 and dodge all of the red base removal with your Transmogrify. So you just, like, you don't care about Bone Crusher, you don't care about all the shocks, all that stuff. So, like, that deck can get away with it a lot more because of Birth of Miletus. But, like, when you're... Oh, that's good for me. When you're trying to, um, when you're trying to, like, transmogrify a 1-1, one -one, that's, that shit's just not gonna work. Alright, what do we got? Ooh, that's actually not bad. Okay, what's our plan here? This thing is on 3. Oh, it's so far away. I actually kind of wish that was closer, because this means they can draw a Cascade spell before this resolves. Um... I mean, <clears throat> I think I'm just going to go... I could pick up the bird. I don't really have anything to do with the bird, though. I could, like, sh pick up bird, shock, crack, clue. kind of want to keep the clue around, though, for a creativity. Like, pick up the bird, pass, maybe? Is that good? 
Honestly, I think it's better to just command. Because I have a stinky ephemerate. I'm, I'm just going to command here, I think. I'm not playing around Violent Outburst. Show me. Pioneer playing Transmogrify. I feel like Asian is the only thing that's worth hitting. Main board, post board, no fan of having a few silver bullets. Right, yeah, yeah. What t shirt design? Of course you can. Newbie, thank you so much for the five months. Yeah, sure. I got you, buddy. Ship me a link. All right, let's go. Uh, two damage. Loot. Loot. Just give me a second to finish resolving this. Two damage loot. I'm going to keep the surgical, I think. Yeah, when I was playing Transmogrify, I, had, I think I had like. Uh, I think I had one Rorkthar. Like, this was back, you know, about a year ago. I was playing, like, one Rurik Thar. That's actually kind of perfect. Oh, I, that, that makes me kind of want to discard the Surgical. Oh, man. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. I didn't come here to not meme. Um, but, yeah, I think I was playing, like... The, what was the White Angel that makes your life total go back to 20 or whatever it was? I was playing that thing, too, in the sideboard. And then Voidwinder, obviously, for the ramp decks. Angel of starting light total. All right, this is the t-shirt design. I don't know if you wanted me to share it on screen, but it's kind of cool. I like it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Find a share. All right. We don't have to delete the bots. What do you think, chat? I like it. It's cool. It's in chat. Others could look if they wanted. Oh, you put it in the Discord. Okay. Yeah, that's true. You, you, oh, you put it in this chat. It's. I like it. It's kind of cool. It's definitely funny. I'd wear it. All right, untap. Oh, that's so fucking goaded. Chat, what is that draw step? Oh my god. That draw step is so goaded. Because now they can't even counter my shit. It's actually goaded. I mean, if they have endurance, I get blown out. But I was going to get blown out by endurance regardless, so... This beats counter spells. I'm just going to cast Borrower? I don't give a shit about Borrower. Okay, they have force. Well... Still gonna go for it. Do I just steal all of their lands? I think so. Steal your land. Oh, I actually, I really punted. I should have stole this in case they have dead gone. Yeah, that was terrible. I needed to steal this first. Because now I just get like owned by dead gone. Thankfully I didn't have it, but. Just over seven minutes left in round five predictions. Did you start a prediction? Why did you start a prediction? Oh, you just did it for round five. Okay. I was like, wait, you didn't do a prediction for the whole league. You just did it for round five. I gotcha. I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. Makes sense. Thank you, Tim. Uh, that's why I keep you around. Came in hot and heavy in this early prediction. You gotta get it, get it while the getting's good. All right, I think we're going to game three here. I hope we're going to game three. Because I think it was free, people enjoy it. Yeah, it looked, it looked cool. I like it. Petty Theft, the token. Okay, sure. And take your land, because why not? <laughs> this is dope. Arr, I did it again. All right, the Footfalls is on two. I mean, I'm still going to cycle this, because I'm just going to get it back with the Orion. The longer I live. I actually don't want to cast that because I just want to get more. I want to steal all their tokens, basically. I'm going to attack them with the crab patrol value. This is without a doubt more fun than Archon. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, draw three, by the way. In case that wasn't enough. They got two four fours, though. You know. Anyone's game at this point. You have to hand it to Agent. Yeah, the, the Agent wins are so much fun. They're fucking sweet. <laughs> like. Is this, de is this better than Archon? I mean, if you're trying to win games of Magic, probably not, but this is a lot more fun. Uh, Alright, let's go Foothills. Crack this. <clears throat> Alright, we're going for the Flawless Victory, chat. We are going for the Flawless Victory. Please don't scoop. Please let me take all of your permanents. They could have Force Negation, I guess, but... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. No! <laughs> Stop! You're supposed to let me take your permanence. 
All right, game three. <clears throat> Pretty much Sullivan, yeah. We all, we we got down to like twenty cards in round one. <laughs> we, there was a point where we were drawing nine a turn off agent. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We maybe maybe our opponent's out was me decking. Agent deck needs its free real estate thing to to play for when you take lands. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's free real estate. <laughs> Ephemerate pre agent just resets sagas. Right, so the idea behind Ephemerate is it's to make Transmogrify and Persist better, because one Agent Trigger is usually not good enough. Obviously, if you Creativity for two or more, that's good enough. Um, but it's mainly here for when you have your Persist or Transmogrify draws, because one trigger is not going to be enough. When the Ephemerate kind of, you know, as you saw that game, right? If we just had Persist and not Ephemerate, we probably would have lost that game. But, hey, maybe not, but... <sighs> Sand is weird. <clears throat> they kept seven. Hmm. Here's the issue I have with this hand. We have to let them resolve a Crashing Footfalls <laughs> in order for Surgical to be good. And I don't know that this hand can beat a Resolve Crashing Footfalls. <laughs> Use Agent and Glimpse to lower your fail rate since you get to keep, but you steal between Glimpses. It's actually not a horrible idea. I think I have to ship this. Yeah, I have to ship this. Uh, this hand's like if I draw two lands this hand's perfect but I can work with this I think I have to keep Fable I think Fable's my best card in a mold of five I think I want to keep Fable Teferi Consumes All and then I can like curve Teferi into Consumes All yeah was Glimpse Play Mirror Breaker they don't usually I don't think but glimpsing into agent sounds kind of hot. Maybe I should try that. Glimpsing into agent does sound kind of sick. I love this song. All right, we're gonna get iced. Yeah, we're so fucked. We are so fucked. Yeah, 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 yeah. We also have to draw a land that casts the fury to make the sand good. Aha, it's after red. What do you say about that? Okay. 45 seconds left in round 5 prediction. It'll probably take me about that to lose this game. Oh, we're gonna get Blood Mooned. I'm just gonna scoop if they Blood Moon me. It's still probably gonna be hard to beat, but... Hmm. So the question is... Do I just not fetch? Well... Oh no, I have to fetch. Yeah, because this comes into play tapped. Yeah, I think I should just fetch here. I mean, obviously it's awkward if I fetch, like, Grixis Triumph and draw a black... You know what I mean? Draw a black source, but... Yeah, we're dead. Because I keep them off Blood Moon. Seize my own mine. Well, I mean, the thing is, I can't... I don't even want to play Teferi next turn. I have to play Consume Zol. So there's no point in even doing that. But, yeah, my mana was just too awkward this game. Yeah, I'm just dead either way. I mean, maybe they jam another Rhinos and don't have a Force Negation and I resolve this? It's like the only potential way I could conceivably win this game. Okay, they can't cast Outburst. They can just hard cast Force, though. I have a Twitch Prime sub. Would greatly appreciate it. But thank you guys for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate you being here. Oh god, it's a Yorion mirror. Fuck me. And my client's super laggy. I almost want to restart. It's a lot of work to restart, though. I probably should. Yeah, I'm gonna restart. Especially if it's a Yorion mirror, I think I have to restart. <laughs> it's gonna be a long match. <clears throat> Maybe they're just Yorion burn. And I'm gonna get destroyed. I think it's a mirror match. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I had I had high hopes for that one, Torbmark. I don't know what happened. I mean, we definitely flooded out quite a bit, but... <clears throat> agent, steal your agent. I can't handle Agent of Treachery mirrors. Alright, after I, uh... After Moto decides to load back up... This is like the classic, you know... Like when you used to download stuff from AOL. And you know what I need? I need like a soundboard that has the dial-up sound... 
for when I restart Moto. Just like play the dial up sound. This is bad. It's like really bad. Okay. Uh, well, apparently none of my cards have arts. Uh, okay, there we go. Is this hand good? Eh, not spreading seas. We find a land of cast mending. It's not bad. I'm gonna try it. Might be a little bit of a sketchy keep, but I think it's okay. Flooding into deck with basically mono five drops. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Maybe this keep was too sketchy. Okay, that helps. So let's get Steam Vents. Let's go Steam Vents. Spreading Seas, your Rogarin Triome. Although, we can't really keep them off of anything because they have the Ren, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but we could potentially set up for Command into Creativity, so... Might be cooking with gas here. We kind of, I feel like in this matchup, we probably have to set up like a really, really big creativity. Like one agent trigger is not going to get the job done. That's actually not a terrible draw step. Hmm. Okay, I have to main phase this Prismari command because they have to ferry in play. So let's go, I think, White Source? Yeah, let's go White Source, Loot Treasure. Maybe we can discard the Agent and one of the Mendings. Hmm. I guess this sucks because now they can just bounce the Treasure. But if they bounce the Treasure, they don't draw a card. Not that bad. <clears throat> yeah, that's actually a good point. If I, like... Wait until the Ren goes to 7 and then steal it. Oh, they're still going to tick up. They also could just have Endurance, right? And just don't even care about the Persist. Okay, it's fine. They are plussing Teferi. Okay, my turn. So... Uh, maybe I messed up by not getting a Blood Crip last turn. <clears throat> hmm. Because I, I, well, I guess I could just wait on the persist, right? Like, what if I just go main phase command, maybe like shock to fairy treasure. <clears throat> you don't hate creativity treasure. Just to take, just to try and take the Tef. Well, if I'm doing that, I think I want to persist. Because I want to go for a bigger creativity once I take the Tef, right? Might not steal the Ren now. They can have Prismatic Ending. That's why I want to wait a turn on the on the on stealing the Ren. I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play setup here. I'm just gonna go loot draw, loot treasure. I think I like this. Just go loot treasure, play some setup here. I think it's fine. <clears throat> Discard these lands. Play the lounge. Pass. Just gonna play some setup. I think this is good. Because what I can do is I can actually lead Persist. If Persist resolves, I can take Teferi, and then I can slam Creativity for two, right? I don't know, because I guess I have to sack a treasure at that point. Okay, sure. Yes, yeah, so they did have ending. Alright, they don't draw a card. Back a land. Well, I guess now I'm in a now I kinda have to go for Persist, right? Cause like I'm just gonna lose to the the red emblem. They have March. March is whatever. Obviously we're in a bad spot if they have a counter spell. Yeah, I think I have to go for it. Yeah, if I get it, if I if I if this happens, I think I'm in a good spot. But I can't imagine it resolving, right? Surely this resolves. <clears throat> hmm. It's not resolving. Somehow I'm not surprised. Uh, do I want to play it out with a red emblem versus and counter spell? Nah, I'm good. I'm good, dog. Owl Knight, I hope you understand. <laughs> I'm just, I I don't have the patience to play that game out. All right, Bitter Blossom coming in. Kind of need prismatic ending for Ren. <clears throat> 
I don't even think Emrakul's good. They have Solitude. I think Vito's good. I think Bolt is kind of ass. Honestly, Spreading Seas is not that good either. Could, like, cut a couple Cs, cut a Bone Shards. Actually, I'm going to cut a Transmogrify. I think I like this better. I want to keep Bone Shards because, like, they have Ren and Teferi, which are good early targets for Bone Shards. So, like, I don't mind keeping the Bone Shards Persist stuff. I forgot to move this when I restarted. Uh, I mean, I have Ending into Teferi. I, I don't think I can Mulligan this hand. Does creativity not work through Tiff? It does. Let's get Rogger and Triome. Ship it. I don't think you're wrong. It's crazy. Seas isn't good against four color. I know, right? It's like my opponent's playing a four color deck, and Spreading Seas is actively just not that good. <laughs> Blood Moon also not good against this deck. How is that possible? How is it possible that there's a four-color 80-card deck in the format and, like, none of the mana denial is good against it? It's like, what? This deck is so dumb. It's so dumb. Okay, I have to kill their Ren. Ah, this deck is... This deck just frustrates the shit out of me. I don't understand why it's still legal. In its current form. I will never understand that. <clears throat> this is the only... This is, like, the only deck that's been making me, like, not want to play Modern. Everything else I'm kind of okay with. But I just, like... I, I really have not been playing Modern, like, the last two weeks, basically. And this is basically the only reason... I have to take out Yorian. I don't know what they gotta do. We have this conversation a lot. I'm just gonna keep playing Pioneer until something is done. Thankfully, a lot of the PTQs in my area are Pioneer, so I'm I'm very, very happy about that. <clears throat> we Hearthstone now? No. If anything, I'd just play Yu-Gi-Oh! But no, I I love Pioneer. Pioneer's fucking awesome. Thank god like I've been having such a blast playing Pioneer. Uh untap. If I draw creativity, I win. Creativity? Hey, look, you're dead. <laughs> hey, look, you're dead. Boy says... I think I'm just going to take two lands, right? Yeah, I'm just going to take two lands. Nice deck. Nice deck. Ship it. Ship it. I even get to hold up Vito now. Oh, what happened? You don't want to play anymore? Where'd you go? Come back. Come back, four-color opponent. Where'd you go? Where'd they go? What happened? Could have done it for three with Tef. How would I have done it for three? I only had five mana, right? You need an extra mana to do for to do for three. Uh, uh this hand's missing white mana. I have to ship this. The mana base in this deck is less than stellar. All right, well, we're both going to five. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting game. Oh, I just have Bone Shards Persist. Okay, we got a game plan, chat. I'm just going to keep these five cards. We got a game plan. <laughs> we definitely have a game plan. I don't know if it's a good game plan, but it's a game plan. <clears throat> they play Ren, I'm just going to snap off the Bone Shards. Please give me a target. Okay, thank god. I was gonna say, if they don't play a target for this Bone Shards, I'm gonna be very upset. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's the first time I actually want my opponents to play Red and Six on turn two. Come on, please play the Red. They definitely have the Red, yeah, okay. We're good, we're good, chat, we're good. So let's get Grixis Triome. Xander's Lounge, as it were. They might have Endurance, but... Go here, discard Agent... Play Tarn, ship it. If they play Tef, I guess I probably have to steal the Tef, right? Ooh. Hmm, do we just not go for it? I mean, we probably still go for it, right? Eh, I think I'm gonna go for it. We could wait to see if they play Omnath. 
What if I just pick up Yorion? I'd much rather steal an Omnath than a land. I don't know, like, they're on- they're on a mold of five. Stealing a land's not bad. But Endurance would be really, really shitty. Hmm. This is tough. Really, really tough spot. Because, like, if I pick up Yorion, they're just gonna play the Endurance anyways, right? They kept to medium five. I mean, it, they very easily could have Endurance, right? <clears throat> but, like, I don't know if it's gonna get any better. I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. Green, blue. Ice Fang? Okay. I'm still gonna steal their land. What's this? Major Veil or something? The Medron Veil. Because they can Veil the Agent Trigger. That's actually kind of a beating, too. Yeah. Okay. Alright, you can go. Hmm. So now I kind of want this in the graveyard. Or I could just draw Ephemerate. Ephemerate would be sick here. Okay. Uh, hmm. I think I want to crack the clue before I'm mending, because I don't have a lot of stuff left. So, I guess I could also pick up Yorion here. We're a little ways away from Yorion. I think what I'm going to do is main phase crack the clue. Trying to find a land. Okay, not a land. That kind of sucks, but... Because if I drew a land, then I could pick up Yorion next turn with the intention of casting Yorion on five if I drew back-to-back -back lands. I mean, if they get... There's no way they get Fury, right? If they get Fury, I can just persist the Archon again. Persist the Agent. Yeah, we can kill our own Agent. Maybe they'll get Fury. I doubt it. They got Endurance. Okay. Well, that makes this a little bit worse. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ren in six exiled. Okay. Yeah. Still five fucking cards in hand, dude. Jesus Christ. How the fuck they still have five cards in hand, chat? They mold the five this game. <laughs> My opponent mold the fucking five this game. <laughs> and they have more cards in hand than I do. I mean, I also mold the five, but... This deck is just ridiculous. Uh, I guess I have to Yorion here. I just hope I draw land. I don't even know it's good enough, but it's really stupid. It's incredibly obnoxious. All right, here's my Yorion. Go. Either way, they explain the league through the. Day. I mean, it's been a lot of fun all night. I've, I've been having a blast. Sans this four-color matchup, which is just, like, the most miserable deck of all time to play against, it, it's been great. And even this, you know, we, we beat them game two pretty easily. This deck is just, their deck is just so toxic. Four-color deck or Oka Urza Astrolabe deck, which one was more toxic? I mean, Oka was... Oko's like the most toxic card of all time, so definitely the Oko deck, but I don't really think this deck is that much different than the Oko deck, if I'm being completely honest with you. It's equally as offensive. Alright, I'm gonna cast my Orion. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna scoop. Because I just can't take this anymore. Oh, never mind. My door might came into play tapped. Alright, whatever, dude. You win. <laughs> Uh, well, a little bit of a sad ending to the endurance. I just, like, I, I, you know what, chat? I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I don't really see a reason to play modern at all until the four-color deck is addressed. I, 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 I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be blunt with you, chat. I think it's just, it's a moot point. It's, it's just completely pointless. That's it. It is what it is. This deck was sweet, though. I had a lot of fun. Um, the one thing, I didn't think that the Persist Bone Shards elements came up that much. Um, 
you know, I get it. it's like, it's another thing you can do with ephemerates. Maybe it's worth keeping, but maybe just focusing more on the creativity transmogrify stuff. Like maybe fourth fable, fourth transmogrify. Maybe k still keep the ephemerates too in that case. Um, but yeah, I don't know. The persist bone shard stuff was okay, but... <clears throat> Would you ban from four color then? It's really hard because like I think we're at a point where it's just like Modern Horizons just ruined the format. I don't. It's it's really hard to say exactly how. It's just like there's just no fixing. I don't know, man. It's just like Modern's just becoming legacy, and I hate that. I fucking hate it. And there's really no good way to fix it. It sucks. Try just just guy. Yeah, maybe. That's what I'm thinking, too. Like, you you also get a lot better mana if you cut the shards and the persist. So maybe you do, like, cut this package. Maybe you still keep the mending, because it's just a good way to filter through your deck and discard extraneous cards. Um, but, you know, like, maybe you go up the command count, up the fable count, up the transmogrify count, just kind of round out the round out the numbers. Uh, you could also potentially play more stuff to go with Yorion. I don't know what that would look like. Maybe Omen of the Sea?